Where do you see the trends developing in the cases? Yeah, as I was saying, uh, I brought that case up because, I, again, over the last five years, I've seen increasingly, every time we get appointed, either as a receiver or liquidator, there are really two situations, uh, essentially. One is where the company has no assets left, no money, nothing, and you've got to create value. So you then try to recover some assets being taken away, or if it's a listed group, you try to sell the listing instead. It's that kind of situation mm -hmm. where if you fail to recover, uh, you know, any asset, then you don't, you know, essentially there's no, there's no funding either for your own costs and fees or for the creditors. The other situation where the one that I mentioned, where you have a listed group, for whatever reason, shall be dispute, uh, we've been appointed, uh, and, and there's a lot of people fighting to control that listed group. So the trend I think uh, I'll see going forward uh, increasingly is that with you know disputes going on and you know some comes around in the middle and you're trying to maybe work out a solution for all the parties sometimes it's possible but many a times it might not be possible and do you think going into 2020 we're going to be seeing more of list code disputes or there's no no prediction either way there yeah I think going forward there's going to be a, a, a lot more disputes as you know the Headwinds from from in terms of economy, uh, it's, it's not look, looking good. It hasn't looked good for a while. Globally, you have all these geopolitical risks, um, trade wars, Brexit, and so on and so forth. But you know, in terms of macroeconomic signs, uh, all things are pointing to a recession. Not just in in Hong Kong or our neck of the woods, but you know, maybe even globally. Some of these signs, which economists. Uh, are used to predict recession and they're fairly accurate are things like what's called an inverted yield curve which means uh, if the short-term bonds the use on short-term bonds yeah are, are, are higher than the use of, of uh, long-term bonds then then the curve gets inverted that basically means uh, people are more interested in long-term bonds than in short-term bonds okay so uh, uh, that means people are not very confident about the future and of course, we have other indexes like uh, consumer confidence, unemployment rates going up, and all those are you see around the world are actually starting to 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 you know appear uh, in terms of U.S. in terms of Euro in terms of Asia, and and things like manufacturing indexes, manufacturing are dropping, and interest rates are being lowered around you know in a few countries like the U.S., Australia, and and Hong Kong as well. So these are all signs pointing. To, to recession and so to your question yes so there's going to be more and more uh, uh, challenges in terms of businesses this way you get more and more disputes uh, because things start to float you know the skeletons that we hit and start to float you know start to surface and so you're going to get more so I predict yeah it might not necessarily be uh, insolvency it could be restructurings it could be disputes but we're going to see a lot more of that uh, going forward it's a busy year next year yeah I think so <laughs>